Hello, neighbors. It is I, Harrietta. Looking up at Casey. Hello. Hey, Case. Hey, Hi. neighbors. It is Friday, so I'm making some fish. And I'm making fish cakes like my mom used to make. Delicious. I gotta get the potatoes. Gotta mash up the potatoes. So, two nice sized russet potatoes. Um, the old boiled and salted water, you know. And I mashed it up with some butter and salt. And I'm gonna add some pepper. So, like two cups of mashed potatoes, okay? Now I have 500 grams, 450 to 500 grams of cod that I boiled and flaked up after it was cooked. So this is cooked, potatoes are cooked, okay? Preferably, this is better if, you, if it was cooled off a bit, which I'm gonna have to because I gotta add eggs. So I'm gonna add my potatoes to my cod. I love when mom made it with salt cod. This this is just regular cod fillets. Uh, no bones, no skin. One small onion diced. I'm gonna put, I'll measure out how much I'm putting in, seasoning wise for you all. One second. It's probably a little bit more potato, really. But about 500 grams of potato and 500 grams of uh, fish. And dried parsley flakes, I'm gonna add a tablespoon. Oopsie. Teaspoon of onion powder. Mama always used onion powder and garlic powder, or garlic salt, too. But this is on uh, garlic powder, a teaspoon of that as well, if I can get it out. I'll try. I have to add two eggs, but I'm going to let it cool for a minute. Well, that's cooling, I'll just show you. For anybody that doesn't want fish, I made a spanakopita. And I have some rice, grain wanted rice, with this today. And uh, yeah, then the, then the fish patties. So this is gonna be our lunch. Alrighty, crack an egg into the, I'm just cracking it into the center. The bowl is a little warm, but not too bad. Then I can kinda bring the egg in slowly. I just don't wanna cook my egg, make a scrambled egg in there. I kinda really wouldn't want that to happen. So these are large eggs. And I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Oh, I already added pepper to the potatoes and I have to be careful with Casey's spice level. A little bit of salt. You can add some cheese to this if you like too. I'm just making it the way mom made it. Did the way mom made it and I liked it. Just mixing it in slowly just to warm up the eggs a little bit slower that's all slowly warming up my eggs mom will make this with leftover potatoes mm -mm -mm. i love a nice crust on them so i have some ghee or you can use cooking oil or whatever butter and oil mix whatever you want in your frying pan I'm just turning it up, heat it up a little bit more. And, if I'm not mistaken, which I, I don't think I am, but Mom would put breadcrumbs in. She would put a little bit of breadcrumb. I had a few breadcrumbs. Just a few tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Wash my hands. And get in there. Mmm, they smell nice. Mix 
make another container of breadcrumbs of seasoned breadcrumbs I have the dried bread I have to put them together like that like that one playing with them now like that guy wasn't ready to turn serve these up with the uh, ca cauliflower with a white sauce be nice I actually use more potato than normal to a tasty poo while those ones are frying up. Okay. Tasty poo. You got the picture. You just keep frying until they're all golden, until they're all lightly browned and delicious. About four or five minutes a side. Maybe longer. They're bigger patties. Mm-mm. I could just eat these with nothing else. But yeah, there you have it. Tune in next week. Lots of yummy stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Peace, love, God bless. Have a great weekend. Bye.